It has been a long and tortuous path, but it has led, thanks to this lady, to this day and the first credible general election in Burma for a generation. Not surprisingly, Aung San Suu Kyi has been mobbed wherever she's gone. For her and everyone else here denied the ability for so long, the act of casting a meaningful vote was novel and exciting. It's five years ago next week that the Nobel laureate, no one across this country as mother, was set free. Now she hopes today's vote will do the same for her people. This election is as much about one person as it is about political parties. Everyone in Burma knows what Aung San Suu Kyi went through and many believe she did it for them. Today is their opportunity to say thank you in writing. At this polling station in Rangoon, people were having to wait three hours to cast their ballots, but they didn't seem to mind. It's very, very important for all the people of Myanmar. Yeah, we are waiting for this chance for a very long time. <laughs> so we are very happy. All the indications are that the turnout has been large, and that's good news for Miss Su Chi. This evening, a crowd gathered outside her party headquarters. The rain was heavy, but they thought the future looked bright. These are supporters of democracy, and their time may just have come. John Irvine, ITV News, in Burma.